Right, hello, welcome back everybody. Midweek little vlog this one, just to show you what's going on in the polytunnel and what I've been up to around here. So let's take a look and see what we've got. Right then, as you can see here, some of you may notice the lift table is actually different. It's actually a blue one, this one. And the one before I had was red. And this is actually a much bigger version of the one I've got, which I'm just using over here at the minute for a bit of a extended workbench onto what we're using there. So it's not really wide enough to have two ramps side by side in there, obviously because of the curvage of the roof. So for now, this one's just gonna be a extra workspace. But this one is basically the same as one my dad's got in his in his log cabin. So really good heavy duty one. It comes with the inspection plate there to inspect your back wheels. It's just a really good addition. There was nothing wrong with this one, but I can get a lot more on this one and it gives you a bit more, with it being wider, you get more space to put your tools and stuff on. So yeah, I mean, I couldn't turn this down. It was half of the price what I paid for this one. The bloke had only used it a couple of times and I couldn't say no really. So we went and fetched it and here it is now. Also, some of you may remember in one of my previous videos that I found that Hater 40, was it a 48? I can't remember now. It didn't have a dead man's handle and there was no grass bag with it. But my mate at Mix Mowers in the shack reached out to me and he sent me a handle and a bag. So let's get it open. Right then, so as you can see, it's a genuine hater bag. And there's the handle. Mine was snapped along here, so I didn't have any of this part. So that's gonna come in really handy. And he thinks he's funny, look. Cause in that video, I forgot to put the HT lead on. He's put me a little note on there. This needs to be plugged in before you start a lawnmower. Just saying, love Mick's mothers. He's a funny guy, that Mick. He's also sent me some uh, of his new stickers, so we ain't got any of them on here. So there's two of each there. Just show you them. You got the black ones. I'm not sure if I've got one. I don't think I've actually got one of these newer ones. And then you've got that silvery one, so. So what I'll do is I'll keep three and I'll give three to the old man. So I'll get them put up on my balls. I've got a ball here, a ball at home. I'll give three to the old man. So yeah, thanks a lot for that, Mick. Really appreciate that. I say he reached out to me. He sent it. I offered to uh, pay the postage or pay for the parts, but he didn't. He weren't having none of it. So I've sent a little present for Riley boy. Hopefully he's got that and he enjoys it. There'll be a link in the description down below for Mick's mowers. If you haven't got Mick, head over there. All small engine related stuff. So anyway, really appreciate that Mick. So what we can do now is we'll head outside now to the hater and get all this sorted out and uh, give it a bit of a polish up and see what it turns out like. So let's go outside now. Oh, before we go, you may be noticing that where this is sitting now, I used to have the mobility scooter there and I was gonna put an engine on that, but Really, I think I'm just gonna out it now. I need the space, it's sitting there doing nothing. I've got too many bikes now. And I, if I did put an engine on it, there's nowhere to ride it. It's, there's no point in it really. So I'm gonna just out that now. It's outside. We'll give it a quick clean down in this video. Right then, so we're outside now. <clears throat> and these are just on two Phillips screws. So we'll just unwind them. So that's M2 out. So that goes like that. Right. 
So we just need to pop that in there like that. And there we go, fully functioning handle. Well done, Mick. So we'll get the grass bag on. And there we go, we've got one complete mower again. So I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe down. And what I'm gonna use is a bit of G101 50-50 mix. This is a good cleaner degreaser this is. Remember it's a scrap mower as I keep saying. It's not gonna be winning no prizes. Just get a cloth out of the body tunnel. All right, I'm gonna give this a that sprayed up there, right in there under that engine. Bit of a once over, I'm not going to use the compressor to blow this one off because it's paint's a bit flaky on it and the, I don't want to be blowing all the paint off of it, what's on it. Right then, so let's give that a bit of a wipe over. It is actually a 2005 this. Uh, it's lasted pretty well actually, normally these rot right out. So let me give you a quick tour around it. As I say, it's not winning no competitions. It's gonna be a cheap self-drive mower for someone. It's got a few scratches there. Just general wear and tear. I will dust the bag over with the airline. But yeah. Not bad for a freebie. Let's um, see if it starts up. It hasn't been run since the last time you see it running on the channel and that was probably about a couple of weeks ago. So we'll turn the fuel on. Is there any fuel left in it? There's a bit in there. And uh, let's see if she fires. So chokes on, handle up. That engine is sweeter than that. What I will have to do is just tighten all these up because these are all need tightening up a bit. They're just a bit loose. So I will do that, I'll do that. You don't need to see me do that, you to tighten the handle up. But let's take a look at this little mobility scooter. Right then, so here's the little mobility scooter. So I'm just gonna take this seat off. I think it just pulls up if I remember rightly. Close that down. Get that out of the way. And we're just going to give this a clean again with some G101. I just say, it just when you come to sell things, it looks a lot better when they're clean. So we'll just do this back box for now. And already that looks 100 times better. And I will get another cloth just after this, to just to wipe the streaks off, because this has got a bit of crap on this cloth now. Alright, let's just get the streaks off of it. That's a lot better than it was. 100 times better. So we'll come around the front now, and give that a bit of a blast. As you can see, it's full of dust and grit. Should have blown it off really first. But I say it's just an old scooter. Just trying to freshen it up. That so takes a few good pictures.
Right then, I've given that a once over and it's turned up quite nice actually. Just shows you what a bit of a wipe down can do. Spending 10 minutes just uh, going over your item, whatever you're getting rid of. Paintwork ain't too bad on it. A little bit of a scruff there, which happens on these. They get bashed about. But yeah, still got a good finish on there. So, a set of batteries on that, that should uh, see someone well. If you remember on my previous NRG video, I had a problem with the HT lead fitting. That was one that was on the bike and it just wasn't, it's not, it's not getting a good fix on there. So, I did say I found that under the seat, so someone's obviously been on the HT leads before. I've actually sourced a new lead in a boot, so I've not got it with me, otherwise I'd have put it on while we was here. It's in the car at home, so we have got that to do. And once I've got the HT lead fitted, I think we'll get the battery on and just uh, see if it starts, because this never had an electric start on it, so I want to make sure the old electric start works on it because we can have a look at diagnosing any problems while the fairings are off. So I want to get the battery on and we'll see if we can get it to uh, fire up. That will be in the next Piaggio video. I have still got this old Kubota down here that I need to get on with. I will be restoring this one. This will be getting stripped down. We'll powder coat the deck on this one because you don't see many of these about these Kubotas. And it's still got the original grass bag with it, which is a bonus. So there's the TZR wheels for those of you that haven't seen them already. That's just a bit of crap on there, I'm about that. They've turned out really well. I've put mixed mower sticker, I went for the black one in here because it stands out a bit more. So yeah, and I put Cafresa up, he was in the last video. So there will be a link in the description down below for mixed mowers. A lot of you already know him anyway, but head over and uh, check him out. I've still got the old TZR engine there. That is going to be getting vapour blasted. I don't like that. It just looks cheap with that paint on it. It is a silver engine paint, but it's not It's not what I want on the bike. So that's getting vapour blasted. Got the old forks there. That one was bent, if you can remember rightly. They're already down here to be fitted now. Looking well. Can't wait to get it all back together now, piecing it up. Still got the NRG fairings there, ready to go in some paint. The bit of plastic welding to do on this front fairing. I did source myself another set of TZR side fairings. I've got a set down there, but they didn't have the proper, I don't think they had the pins for the other side fairing. I got these at a really good price, so I couldn't say no. And I've also got a set of rear side fairings, which I've got a set here. But again, they have um, broken lugs on them. So I managed to source another set of them side fairings from the same guy that I got the actual main fairings off. And these actually supply me with the whole fairings. I actually got the head fairing off him as well, the headlight one. So yeah, he's really Andy Blow. Andy Stead, I no, Anthony Stead, I think his name is on Facebook. So if you need any parts, head over to him. He does a bit of Yamaha braking. And I'm going to leave it here for this little video, I think, now. It was just a little midweek tinker video, just to show you what's going on, what we're doing. Mobility scooter going. We'll be able to sort that Honda out, that hater out now. Now, cheers to Mick. We'll get that outed. Hopefully, we'll get the Piaggio running in the next video. And we'll be able to get that off of the table and get the TZR on the table and get that forks on and the wheels on there. So, a lot to come. So a lot of good content coming up. So hope you're enjoying these videos. If you haven't already, check out my other playlists for the bikes and stuff. I've got the Mondeo, the TZR, we've got the NRG, lawnmowers, plenty of stuff to go looking at. But until next time, we'll see you about.